Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Habakkuk, with us. Thus, the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly, ignorantly call God in Jesus Christ, whose correct and proper names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere, sincere Shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world unto the servants of prophets. The men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth to you, I say Shalom. This is not quite World War III, but we're getting there. And I'm referring to this recent uh, invasion of uh, Russia by Ukraine. And all these things are going to lead to that world, that third world war, which is going to be the end of Esau's kingdom, the so-called white man, his rulership, and the beginning of the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Jacob. Okay, so all these things must come to pass before us. Israelites as believers, the hopeful elect, the elect to get to the kingdom of heaven. Okay, and, and things are happening, all right? The spirit of war is in the air right now. And you have all these nations, okay, whether they're allies with America, whether they're allies with Russia, everyone's watching right now. And and everyone's watching closely because eventually these nations that that they're gonna have to pick a side. They're gearing up to um for war and the, thus say the scriptures, we know what side they're going to be on. They're going to be on the uh, the opposing side of America, whether they're allies with America now or, 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 or not. They're going to be every all nations will be opposed to America, which is Babylon, the great spoken of in the scriptures, because Revelation 18 ex explains it all. OK, uh, uh, of the destruction of Babylon. All right. And why this place has to be destroyed because of the wickedness that it has uh, brought forth throughout the world. OK, but. Speaking on this incident in uh, Ukraine with Russia, this is the beginning, okay? And, and these are the rumors of war that, that have begun to start, all right? And there's no turning back, all right? This is the plague of war is, is in the air, all right? And the Heavenly Father has been playing on the minds of Putin and these other world, uh, so-called world leaders, all right, to, to be in the spirit of war, all right? It's, it's, it would be easy for Putin to not invade Ukraine, but he's a hey, man's going to the Lord. He, 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 you know, he ain't got no control of what he does, all right? And the Lord has been been um, been playing on the minds of these uh, these world leaders for for a long time, and you know, hey, he's going to eventually, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, be one of those world leaders to push the button, or along with the other uh, so-called world leaders, because Yahweh Shai is coming back to take all those thrones off these uh, um, off these these so-called rulers uh, of the world. All right, meaning that you know he's going to take them out of their power seat. All right, take that dominion back. All right, so let me get this first scripture. Um, first scripture I want to grab is in Matthew chapter 24, speaking on the rumors of war. All right, because, hey, this is the beginning. All right, this is the beginning of the end of Esau's kingdom. This is Matthew 24 in verse, I'll start at verse 5. Uh, I'll start at verse 4. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed and shall deceive many, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So the war must happen. For there to be peace, there has to be war. And there hasn't been peace since this devil Esau Edom has been ruling. Okay, ever since he came out of that um that, that deadly wound which was healed, he came out of those uh uh he came back into power um, you know, after the dark ages, after the middle ages during the renaissance period he's done nothing it's been nothing but war all right he's been out for blood for the whole for the whole world to conquer okay and that's what he's done all right but thus it has to be war more war the the war that's going to end all wars to, for there for there to be peace all right you have all these protests out here that are oppose the war oppose the war they don't understand they don't understand prophecy okay only the servants the prophets really understand prophecy and these hey, a few edomites understand OK, especially these higher ups, these international bankers, because they they, they feel that, you know, this world's war is going to, you know, usher in their new world order. All right. And they got it's, hey, they have another thing coming along with the rest of these nations, because China, Russia, they think that they're going to be the big superpower once they take America out. OK, but the Awashi is coming back to claim his throne. All right. To rule. OK, let me read uh, the sixth verse. And you oh, actually, excuse me, the seventh verse. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And we see we're seeing that right now. OK, there's going to be a great divide amongst all these nations. Uh, 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 they're going to be a divide amongst these nations, but eventually they're going to come together and, 
you know, realize that they have a common in, common enemy, which is Babylon, America. All right, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence. We already just had a a a, a form of pestilence, which you know, which you know was was kind of man made. All right, but it's going to be more pestilence. All right, you know, whether it's man made, but it's all coming from the heavenly Father. And earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So we're just at the beginning of sorrow. We'll be at the beginning of war. Okay, but once this war is full blown, hey, it ain't no turning back. It ain't no turning back now. But once this war is full blown, once people begin to be drafted, all right, and, and sent off there, they're not coming back. Okay, you, you got people, family in the military, they're not coming back. They're not, you, you're never going to see them again. All right, because the Lord is bringing everyone to that valley of Jehoshaphat, to the Middle East, Middle East to judge them, to judge all nations. Okay, they, that, that's what, the, and a lot of them are going to destroy themselves, okay, destroy each other. But the Heavenly Father is sending his son back to ultimately take out all these nations. With the host of heaven, with the chariots. Okay. Let me grab this. Uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, you know, speaking of war, we're in the time of war. This is not a time of peace. This is not a time to turn up. This is not a time to uh, chase the bag. It's a time to get right with the Heavenly Father. If you're an Israelite and you believe, call on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and repent. Okay. Because you see what, if you if you have eyes to see, you see what's taking place. All right, just like people thought that, you know, oh, that's that 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 C nineteen stuff is going on in China, and next thing you know, that shit was here in America and shut this whole place down. You see the war that's taking over taking place over in Ukraine, and America is kinda iffy about entering in this situation because they really don't have a they really don't have a say so because Ukraine is not a part of NATO. Ukraine is not a part of the U EU. Okay, so America really has to stand down. All right, while the whole world is watching, okay, and the whole world is watching, waiting for America to butt they, you know, butt in and and, and um, you know, you know, uh, uh, enter into this war. But America knows that hey, once they do this, once they cross that line, ain't no turning back, okay. And eventually, something's gonna give, all right, w whether it be an ally of America enter in, enters in, or or, or not. But America, does, America really don't want to be pulled into this war because hey, that's the end, all right. That you, you're gonna. Then America's really putting on this this uh, facade, you know, like they're still in order. Like that's not in order. Like they're still in power. Like they still have the upper hand when they really don't. Because all these nations, which they did have the upper hand on a, a while, well, you know, 20, 30 years ago, are got the upper hand now because they all come together. All right. They all, you know, mainly Russia and China, Iran, they all have nuclear weapons. Okay, and that 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 having nuclear weapons now evens the playing field because it was America that had you know the, the big weapons, the big military, but all these nations are, are have been building their military militaries up to this point, up to this world war, was World War Three, and it's really the Heavenly Father that that the, the will of the Heavenly Father to, to build these for these nations to build their militaries up. All right, let me read Ecclesiastes three and one, and I'm gonna jump down to verse eight. Every t every for, to everything there is a season. And a time to every purpose under heaven, under the heaven. All right, so there's a time and a place for everything. And this, we're living in a time of war. We're living in the time of destruction. Okay, we're living in the time of hate, as it's going to say. It's a time of love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Okay, so we ain't in a time of love. The love of many is going to wax cold, especially here in America. All right, where everyone's going to give you a cold shoulder. And there's not going to be no love out in these streets. All right. Everyone's going to be out for theirs. All right. What do you think Russia's doing? Do you think they're being kind to those people over there in Ukraine, even though they're the same people? They're all Edomites. OK, they all come from one of the Dukes of Esau. All right. But no, they they they. Hey, this devil is over there slaughtering their own people. OK, so, you know, hey, Esau is out for blood, too. OK, in those Edomites over there, those Russian Edomites, they, they understand what time it is. They understand this is a time of war. OK. A time of war and a time for peace. So in order for us to get peace, okay, and the Israelites will ultimately get peace, all right, in the kingdom of heaven. A, a, a literally peace on earth and a peace of mind. But right now we don't have peace. And we understand the men of the Lord, the prophets, the servants of the Lord, all right, the believers understand that in order for there to be peace, it has to be war. Okay? So we're coming into the time where, where hey, you have to be circumspect. You have to understand what, what, what's going on in, in the world geopolitically okay and um you know and 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 as it pertains to prophecy 
Okay, because you can't get caught up in the CNN and the MSNBCs and the Fox News because they're telling you lies. And sometimes if you spiritually you have spiritual eyes to see, you can read between the lines and see what they're saying. But other times they're just feeding you these lies that Ukraine is uh, putting up a fight. And, you know, like they're trying to, you know, bring this whole David versus, David versus Goliath uh, 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 feel to it when Ukraine don't got a chance. All right. You, Ukraine's, excuse me, Russia's military is is eventually going to overpower Ukraine. And they're going to take that capital city. All right. So so hey, stop watching CNN and all these news outlets because they're lying to you. Okay. They 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 and they're painting this picture that they're going to paint Putin as this villain, which they always do. They always use this this propaganda for for the world to hate this person. But hey, hey, it, it's it, it ain't it's the heavenly father's will. Okay. And and. Only dumbass Americans will believe all this stupid shit because the people on the outside uh, looking in, okay, they, they understand what's going on. They understand what's going on in the world, all right? They're not like uh, uh, these dumbass Americans that just, you know, have tunnel vision, America first, America first. You know, you know, America can't do no wrong. America has done nothing but rape, rob, and murder, okay, the, the, the whole world, basically, okay? And we're coming to the time where they're going to eventually have to pay. Okay, um, let me go straight to Joel 3, and I'm going to start at verse uh, 1. I'm going to read a few verses, uh, and then I'm going to jump down to uh, verse 9. It says, For behold, in those days, and in that time, we're living in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, the northern and the southern kingdom, I will gather all nations, and I will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. And that's what the Lord is doing right now. This is the, We're at the beginning stages of this. All right, we're warming up to that part where all the nations are going to gather into that valley of Jehoshaphat, the Middle East, okay, and, 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 and be judged, all right? And I will plead with them for my people and for my heritage Israel, for whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And let me go to this word, plead, because it's not like the Lord is pleading with them, begging with them, you know, please, you know, uh, um, no, the Lord, that, that word plead is, um, I think it's, uh, let me see. It says uh, Shaphat, but um, let me see, to judge, all right? That's what the Lord's going to do, to judge, Mashapat, okay? To, to judge these nations, not to, not to plead with them and, and beg them. The Lord ain't going to beg nobody, okay? So let me um, jump down to verse 9. Proclaim ye among the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, let all the men draw near, let them come up, all right? And these nations, these, these, you know, of course, North Korea has been, you know, all, all, you know, always testing nuclear missiles and shit, okay? You got all, but all these nations, Iran, you, uh, uh, um, you know, um, Japan, all these nations around the world that have militaries, they're, they're gearing up for war, all right? The, 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 the spirit of war is in the air and they understand that, you know, what time it is. OK, while you dumbass Americans here sleep and don't understand the times that we're living in. This is a very prophetic time because this is the this is the uh, the number one prophecy. All right. With, um, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the mark of the beast being prophecy one a. But those two prophecies go hand in hand, you know, because once this world's war gets kicked off, Esau's propaganda machine is going to be at an all time high where. You know, they're going to be telling people, you know, this is a this is a matter of national security, uh, 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 life and death. You know, you don't get this. You know, you're not patriotic. You know, talking about that, that, that MOTB. All right. So everything is is, is is playing its course right now. All right. Everything that is happening has a has a purpose for for the, uh, you know, really has a purpose on the left hand and the right hand. All right. All these things that Esau is doing right now is playing into the hands of their new world order. All right, and everything that is going on right now is also playing into the hands of the elect being delivered and the elect, elect being sifted among these nations and, and eventually being redeemed and saved. Okay, this is Joel chapter 3 and verse 9. Proclaim ye among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, let the weak say I am strong. And that's what's taking place right now, the weak are, are, are coming up against the strong and the strong has been Esau Edom for so long. Okay. But I was watching, um, what was it? CNN or one of these, one of these news networks and they were speaking of, um, you know, ways that America could retaliate against Russia and, you know, things specific, you know, certain things they could do. And one of the, um, 
analyst said that um he was he was he was he was he was honest as hell, all right. He was an Edomite, but he was honest. He said that there's nothing that we could do to them that they can't do to us. Okay, so that he he sound defeated and deflated at that point. And and these and America knows that. All right, that, that the weak is saying I am strong because for a while, a long time, all right, even during the Cold War stages, these other nations, their military wasn't that strong. All right, but now they've built their military up. They sacrifice a, you know, a lot to get ICBM missiles and, and, and built up their military. Now they're saying they're, they're strong. And now they're, hey, they're, hey, if war happens, they're ready. Okay. It's, it, it reads, um, verse 11, assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about thither cause thy mighty ones to come down. Let the heathen be awakened and come to the valley of Jehoshaphat for there I will sit to judge all the heathen round about. And the Lord is this is all a part of the Lord's movie, the Lord, part, all a part of the Lord's plan to bring these heathen down to the Valley of Jehoshaphat, okay, to judge them, okay, to, to make, a, make, a, make a slaughter of them, okay, and, that, and that's what's going to take place. They don't know why they're going over to the Middle East to fight, even though the least of the flock, it says least of the flock shall draw them out because Israel is going to draw these nations over here, all right, for, 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 you know, America mainly to defend them against Iran and other foes they may have in the area, but the Lord is bringing them over there to judge them. All right. And the ultimate judgment is going to come when all these nations turn their backs on America and shoot those missiles over here on, on America. So this is all leading up to that, that, that final judgment of Babylon, of, of Esau, Edom's kingdom. All right. And let me get this scripture because Esau, you know, if you don't, you know, of course, Esau is going to um, act like they, uh, they, they did something by putting sanctions on Russia and personal, personally sanctioning Putin. That shit don't matter, man. You don't think that when they invaded Ukraine that they didn't have this in mind, like, oh, America can do this. They can put sanctions on. Sanctions on. They knew that, but they're prepared for that. They're not like, this, I'm going to read this scripture right here in uh, Isaiah 13 and um, 17. And it reads, uh, because one thing about one thing, one thing they're not telling you about these sanctions is, yeah, they sanction, they sanctions uh, 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 the banks and stuff of Russia, but at the same time, America is still using oil that comes from Russia. So at the same time, the, the irony of that, they're putting money, they're going to sanction them, but they're, you're still putting money in their pockets from the oil that you uh, uh, purchase from them or, or use from them. All right. So it is, you know, yo, if, if you don't have eyes to see, Esau is just playing a lot of you people out here to, to, to make it seem like they, they make it seem like they're, they're still in power, that they're still, they still got a, um, that they, they still have the uh, the upper hand, and they really don't. Okay, their power is really dwindling. Okay, all right. Um, this is uh, Isaiah thirteen and verse seventeen. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. All right, and the Medes, uh, it, the current day Medes, are are the Russians. Okay, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not they shall not delight in it. All right, so the uh, uh, the Medes, the Russians, they don't care about losing money or taking L's, all right? They, they're out for blood, okay? They, they, they want, you know, they want rulership, all right? And, and they know in order to get that, all right, in their mind, they're thinking they got to take America out, all right? Their eyes are set on, on, on mainly America, okay? And, and any of their allies that get in the way, they're going to take them out too, okay? But eventually, you know, <laughs> they think they got next. Russia think they got next. China think they got next, but they, they, they don't. Okay, because the Heavenly Father's coming to take their ass out. Through, excuse me, sending his son to take them out. Okay. Um, mm, let me grab this. Because um, this is all prophetic, all right? If you understand the scriptures, you understand that this, this is a prophecy about, um, you know, um, Russia being a guard unto these nations. All right. Uh, this is a prophecy of God in the future of invasion of Israel. Uh, the word of the mo the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, "Son of man, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, the prince, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against them, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord: Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, and the prince, chief of Meshach and Tubal. I will turn the I will I will turn thee back and put hooks in thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth. Or this so is the Lord that's." Putting hooks in the jaws of these nations, mainly Russia, to do to do to do His will. Okay, 
and all thy army, horses, and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, and a great company of bucklers and shields, all of the all of them hanging swords, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shields and helmets. Gomer and his bands, I believe Gomer is um, modern day uh, Turkey, and all his bands, the house of Togoma, and the north quarters, and all his bands, and, and many people with thee. Thou be prepared and prepare thyself, thou and all thy companies that are assembled unto thee, and, and be thou guard unto them. So Magog, Magog, the Medes, are going to be a, a, a Russia, modern day Russia, going to be a guard unto these nations. Okay. Um, we said Persia, which is modern day Iran, Ethiopia, Libya. All right. All of them with shield and buckler. Um, excuse me, not shield and helmet. Let me see. Um, actually, I wanted to get something else. Uh, Jeremiah 50. And verse 9. nine. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence shall she be taken. Their arrows shall not, shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. And those arrows are, are the missiles, all right? They're, they're synonymous with missiles, okay? And um, it's, hey, the Lord is doing that. He's assembling the great nations to eventually come against Babylon, okay? But the focus right now is on Russia and Ukraine, but this is just a building block, all right, which, which, is, gonna, which is going to snowball into all these nations eventually coming at each other, all right? All these nations with, with this was going to come in... Um, Fight against one another in in this in this third world's war, all right. So uh, uh, you know this ain't this ain't World War Three, but we're getting there, all right. The Lord is the Lord is pro war right now, okay. The the, the Lord is um I had that up uh, Ezekiel not Ezekiel uh, Exodus fifteen. The Lord is a man of war, Exodus fifteen and three. The Lord is a man of war. The a man of war. The Lord is his name, all right. So the Lord is pro war, okay. So. The closer and closer we get, this ain't World War III, but this is, we're getting there. It's going to build up to World War III. And if you're not right with the Heavenly Father, all right, if you're not, you know, d diligent, you know, uh, uh, in your studies, diligent, you know, in, in your prayers and, 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 you know, getting close to the Lord as you can, you're going to be wiped out. All right, you're going to go down with America. You're going to go down where, you know, you Israelites, all right, you're going to go down where, where, wherever you dwell. Okay, so, you know, hey, stay prayed up, you know, or repent. All right, call them the names and become, you know, and get closer and closer to the Lord because the closer we get, all right, the, the, the tougher things are going to get. The closer we get, the Lord is the, the, the Lord is going to begin to sift more and more the house of Israel until he gathers his elect. All right, so um, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kadwadash. Until next time, I say Shalom.